Hey, what's going on everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Target exclusive Boba Fett from the Droids animated series. And I believe there was a comic line as well. And of course, we saw a version of this Boba Fett in the 1978 holiday special, which was laughably bad. But I do think this is a really, really neat look for Boba Fett. And I'm glad I picked this up. And of course, it comes in the Lucasfilm Publishing style box. Up top, we got Star Wars Droids, The Adventures of R2-D2 and C-3PO. That's pretty cool. Got a very nice picture of Boba. Love that. And then got 3PO and R2 in the background. Got the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm logo there and Boba Fett down here. And if we pop the box open there through the window, you can see Boba. Now, of course, it's on the old body, which is not great. It's a... It, it's not a good body, but I do love the colors on this. I am really digging these colors. And this Boba, of course, comes with the same accessories that the other Bobas on this same body came with. A jetpack, an EE3, and a Sacros K11 disintegrator pistol. Very cool. Boba Fett there, and droids down here. And over here, we have this picture, which is very nice. Now, this guy's name is Vlix on card, and he is sort of on a card. So, yeah, Vlix on card. We got R2, 3PO, and Boba. Very cool picture. And we got a bio in five different languages, and I'll just read the bio real quick. It just says, with his customized Mandalorian armor, deadly weaponry, and silent demeanor, Boba Fett was one of the most feared bounty hunters in the galaxy. So that's the inside. Back to the outside, we got droids on this side of the box. Really cool picture of Boba there. Nothing on the top. Bottom is the barcode, some logos, and some very, very small print. And then on the back of the box, we have this picture, which is very nice. We got Vlix again. And then those three, Lucasfilm timeline, and here we are in the mid-80s with droids, and then we have some warnings down there that no one looks at. All right, I'm going to get this droids version of Boba Fett open, and let's take a look at him. All right, so here is the droids version of Boba Fett out of the box, and this may be a relatively short review. I mean, it's the same figure as Empire and Proto Boba, so, you know, nothing new to talk about. It's just got a different paint job. But let's take a good look at this paint job. So we'll start up here with the helmet, and the helmet is this beautiful baby blue color, and I love this. Just looks good. Got the den up there. The rangefinder, just like the other two Bobas, is fixed. It does not articulate, but you do have some really nice silver paint there. The visor, this deep black, very glossy, very reflective visor. This looks awesome. Yeah, cool color helmet. It's got this kind of a smoky gray color going on up here and on his back. Very nice. Same color on the shoulder pads with some dings here and there. Pretty cool. Chest armor is this tan color. I like it. The Wookiee braids are brown, all one color. Yeah, it's fine. Belt is this brown color, and it goes well with this tan. I just, yeah, I kind of like that contrast. Belt comes around, same color back here. I've always loved the detail right here on this sash. That looks pretty sweet. So the cape, the cape, this orange and brown, I think looks really good together. The stripe is in a different place. I think on Empire and Proto, the stripe is kind of through the middle, whereas this one is along the bottom. You know, but I really like it. This orange just pops. Really, really looks good. Arms, baby blue on the gauntlets with some silver on the rocket. Very good. Gray undersuit. Got a little blue back there, or on the back of his hand, I should say. This arm, same thing. Gray, or dark gray, light gray, and then baby blue. And then some more blue here. Looks good. And then the hose coming up and under. Yeah, it's great. I like it. And the legs look like that. Same legs, but, you know, this gray undersuit. Same color knee guards as the chest armor. You know, that kind of tan color. It looks good. They did not paint these little darts at all, but it's, it's okay. Got his little tools in these little pockets on his shins. They look good. And then baby blue shoes. And these little points look pretty cool. Yeah, top to bottom. It is a really, really neat looking paint job. I mean, it's just a cool look for him. And, of course, being on this old boba body, you know, the articulation is not that great. So mine, the side to side on the head is incredibly tight. I'm hoping that this loosens up over time, but the down is pretty good. It's got some, yeah, the up is pretty good too. You have a hair of tilt, but yeah, my side to side is uh, really, really tight. But you know, the arms don't go up very far. The elbows, barely 90 on that arm. Barely, yeah, not even 90 on the left. Pretty poor. So the left gauntlet, you know, will swivel, and then there's a swivel at the elbow. And on the right side, the swivel is above the elbow, which is kind of interesting. And the gauntlet on the right just has a little bit of a swivel. Both hands are hinged side to side, right and left. Yeah, so side to side there on the wrists. Twist, 
a little bit of crunch, a little bit of back, not a whole lot of side to side. Legs, you know, going up, those pouches really run into one another. They go out very far. They go back just a little bit. Double knees, which are, that one's really tight. Golly. Yeah, the knees get up to there. Um, feet go down all the way. They go up that far. Swivel at the ankle. So, yeah, same articulation, obviously, as the other two. And it's not that great. But I'm pretty much just going to have him static for the most part. But, man, I do love the look of this figure. And as far as accessories, there's the disintegrator pistol, and it looks okay. I mean, it's just gray this time. On Proto Boba, it was black. On Empire Boba, it was maroon. This time, it's just gray. Kind of the same thing on both sides. Nothing really to say about it, but it's a pretty cool looking pistol. And let's see how he holds this pistol. That goes in his hand very nice, and he looks, he looks great holding that. Yeah, pretty cool weapon. I don't know if I'll ever display him with this, but he does look good holding that. And as far as holstering this thing, it just drops right in. Yeah, just like we've seen before. Barrel sticks out a little bit. Yeah, that looks good there. And there's the EE3 that comes with this boba. And this time it's all gray. It was Proto was all black. Empire had some nice brown on the stock and some other paint back here. This one is all gray, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. My scope is bent. And this thing is super bendy there where the stock joins the grip. It's... It's like a noodle. It's very, very poor. Um, but yeah, same blaster, and that's what it looks like. And as far as him holding this, so you can drop that in there to where you can have the have the thumb on the inside of the little guard. And rotate that around. Drop this in the left hand. Maybe. Yeah, okay. And you can sort of have him at a relaxed stance, and that looks pretty good. But look at the look at the stock. Just bent. Yeah, terrible. So flexy at the stock right there. That is just awful. I, I hate that. Weak plastic. And of course, you can put the thumb on top of the grip there. Now, it does bring the stock down here, but it does tip the whole rifle up a little bit because he does not have an up and down hinge on, on the wrist, only side to side. It, it brings the rifle up a little bit to make him kind of more you know, like a ready stance. But, I don't know, it kind of looks a little funny, but I have another idea on how I'm going to pose this guy. I plan on using one of the Ambin Phase Pulse Rifles from Mando. I think this looks nice. And, of course, this was his look from the Holiday Special, right? So, I may try to find some, like, salmon color paint and, and, and some orange and maybe paint this thing to match how it looked in that show. I'm going to snip this thing off, maybe even take the scope off. I don't know, but I really love the look of him holding this thing. And last but not least, we have the jetpack, and it is the same kind of tan color as the chest and the knees. It's fine. Got some cream up here right below the rocket. Baby blue there, there, and on each jet. Now, of course, these jets do not articulate, and the rocket does not come out, but it is a pretty cool color scheme on this. I like it. And let's see how well this pegs in. Okay, pretty snug. I like it. Cape hangs nice. I mean, these colors are great. I... <laughs> I really love the look of this boba. All right, he's got his pulse rifle, jet pack, cape hanging nicely. Let's go stick him on the shelf. Oh yeah, those, <laughs> those colors just pop, especially the orange on the cape. That just jumps right out at you. So if I can find some paint that color and kind of a salmon color and paint the rifle, pff, that would look awesome. But man, he looks good on the shelf. That color scheme is just killer. I think he looks really good between Proto and the standard, you know, Empire Boba. You got to love the look of that, man. That looks amazing on the shelf. I'm super happy with this. I know not everyone likes it, but you have to admit, the colors just pop on the shelf. Especially this orange. This orange is like, hello! This, the tan, the blue, the gray. It's just awesome. I love the look of this. The disintegrator pistol will most likely stay in the holster. This thing should just go in the trash. I mean, this is, that's unacceptable. <laughs> this is pretty poor. Yeah, goodbye. I'm gonna pose him with this. I think this is a nice look for him. And again, if I could find that color and a salmon color, snip this little thing off and maybe take the scope off, paint this thing like it was in the holiday special, I think that would look amazing. I think it's a cool figure, but 
I want to hear from you guys, so please comment below and let me know what you think of Boba Fett from Droids. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and please turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see y'all next time.